Hey there, fellow travelers. Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're here in Bruges, Belgium, for five things that tourists are going to love and hate about visiting Bruges, because this city is fantastic. It's gorgeous. We're here on the Grote Markt on Market Day. So many good things to eat, so many great things to see when you're here, and yes, you can go all the way to the top up there for a great view of the city. You can do that. But even in cities that I love so much, like Bruges, probably my favorite city, this and again are my two favorite cities in Belgium, and Bruges really pops up a lot of my list for small towns to visit. There's things I love, but there's things I hate. And that's why we have the five things you're going to love and hate about visiting Bruges. And I'll be honest, I've been here a number of times and I actually started filming a Five Love and Hates of Bruges years ago and I didn't finish it off. So I thought what I'd do is make a nice fun video where we go back and forth from today to a few years ago when I was here when there's a little bit less beard and a little bit less gut. <laughs> and so you can see because a lot of loves and hates haven't changed too much because you will love the food and you'll love the science, but the lots of tours and stuff like that might get to you. So here we go with the five things you're gonna love and hate about Bruges. The first thing you're not gonna like about Bruges is well, there's a lot of tourists here. Whether it's school groups from all over Flanders or Belgium or France or England, or just the numerous tourists that come from all over the world, Bruges is a very popular place. And so you do kind of get run over by tourists and all the things that go with that. You know, tourist pricing and, you know, hotels sometimes hard to come by and things like that. So just all the fact that there's so many tourists here, it can kind of take away from your own kind of private Flanders experience. So just be ready for that. So plan accordingly. Come in some of the shoulder seasons like September or April. Fantastic weather still, beautiful things, and very few tourists here. But that's the first thing you're not going to like. Well, whether it's the bikes or the trucks or the, the horse-drawn carriages, People are going through these roads all crazy and with all the tourists driving here, a lot of people don't pay attention so it can be dangerous crossing the street. So watch out for the bikes, watch out for the cars, watch out for the delivery trucks and tourist buses because you can get whacked. I've seen a few people like get nicked here and there so just be careful with all the bikes and all the stuff going around because they don't care about the tourists, they're just going so just pay attention, okay? Now another hate when you actually do come here to Bruges, yes I've changed a little bit since the first part of this video is actually the prices. I mean, when you're here on the Grote Markt or you're here on market day now, a few years later, and the thing is when you're eating on the markets, you're eating on the squares here, the prices can be pretty high. And since this is such a tourist place to go to, it's a lot of tourist pricing as well. So you will spend a lot of money when you actually are here in Bruges. But I mean, you get a good bang for your bucks. The food is good, the beer is good and stuff like that. But just know that you're gonna be spending some fair coin when you do come here. And so some people might wanna stay a little bit in another village and then come visit Bruges, but I like staying Staying here because it is just a gorgeous place and in the summertime it's light until 11 o'clock at night so you can go around and see the beautiful architecture any time of the day which is really cool so there is that another thing you might not like when you are here in Bruges is the service the service isn't spectacular but that's more of a Belgian thing um, it's professional and they'll know everything about the food you want to have or the shops you're going to but don't expect them to fall all over themselves to help you now I'm not asking for people to be like the American over-the-top like way too much service stuff but you will notice the service here is a bit reserved let's say so make sure you're a bit more proactive with your uh if you need to get your orders and stuff like that make sure you're ready to order when it, they come because it's not like they're going to come back a ton of times and if you're going near the bottom of that tasty beer you have don't be afraid to like hey can i get another like from a distance to make sure you get it so you can enjoy it okay anyway those are things you might not like when you're here but i'll be honest the things i've loved about here have been the same for years so we'll go back and finish off with those loves in a skinnier less bearded a little bit less balded mark. <laughs> now the first thing you're going to love about coming here is just wandering the streets with the fabulous architecture and the belfry and the town hall and the churches all around town. There's so many fantastic things to see. The guild houses, coming here to the market square and walking around. You really walk around and you'll go through, I mean back in the days when we had rolls of film, you would go through rolls here just wandering the streets and that's what's really cool. You can wander the streets and wander along the canals and have a really good time doing that. But that's the thing that I love the most is just wandering around Bruges and taking in the atmosphere. It's fantastic. The second thing I like about coming here is kind of the religious experiences, whether it's going to the Holy Blood Church where you get to kiss or see the blood of Christ, or you go see the Madonna and Child done by Michelangelo, okay, at the, at the Our Lady Church. There's all kinds of fantastic churches and religious things to check out here. So that's another cool thing that I like to do. Third thing that I really enjoy doing here, and this one, it's not really here in Bruges. You're going to take a tour from here, and that's to do the World War I battlefields. You know, not a lot of people get a chance to go see those because we see the movies 
movies about World War II and the Civil War, but you don't see a lot about World War I. And this is where Flanders Fields are. This is where the trenches were and the, and the mustard gas and all these things. And it's something that we don't learn a lot about in school. And so when you go there, you see the trenches, you see the history, you go to places like Ypres, which were wiped off the face of the earth and they built them back up. And it's just really cool to see. And that's why it's one of the things I love doing here. Every time I come, boom, we're going to the World War I battlefields. You gotta check it out. The fourth thing you're gonna like are the traditional museums and things like that. I mean, they have, I mean, there's a chocolate museum because of course this is Belgium. There's a French fry museum because we're in Belgium. Also, there's the Gruning Museum. And no, it's not for the guy that makes the Simpsons. It's your, you know, your religious art from the 1500s, 1600s, even up to the 1900s, all kinds of cool stuff there. So there's lots of, you know, museums and architecture and history to take in here, which is very cool because because Bruges had a lot of money for a long time and you can see that in the architecture, in the canals, in the museums and all these things. And the fifth thing I love to do when I'm here is you come here to Grote Markt, or the big square, the Grand Place, whatever language you want to speak. And you go here and you sit and you eat your mussels, you eat your fries, your fritz, and you drink your Belgian beer and you just go around and you people watch. Because people come from all over the world to see this city because it is beautiful. And that's why they come. And sitting here and relaxing, on the Grote Markt's my favorite, but you can find tons of squares and parks around town to kind of take it in and it's fantastic. So it was fun putting this video together to try to integrate the loves and hates and all these kind of things from before and to now because I've been here by myself. I've been here as a college student. I've been here with my fam, my parents. I've been here this time with my kids and my wife and stuff like that. I've come here with friends and this city is fantastic for all ages and those things you might not like, believe me, the beauty of the city and the fun you'll have when you're here and the sights you'll see and the beauty will make up for any of those things you might not like so definitely come to Bruges definitely come enjoy don't let those hates stop you let those loves come through because whether you're seeing the Michelangelo Madonna and child or you're going into the museums that are here or hiking all the way up there to get your exercise you will love your time in Bruges anyway I wish you all the best have a great time here and if you want to learn more maybe the don'ts of visiting Belgium some shocks of visiting Belgium the five lone hates of visiting Belgium or other countries in Europe or in some place in Africa or the US or South America check us out on our website at waltersworld.com we're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest. And I really hope you like this video. So give us a thumbs up and uh, let me know the differences you notice between this mark and the mark before. Bye from Bruges.